Hi everyone, welcome to HelloJanine.com. Today I'm going to show you the no need bread recipe. It's delicious and mine is a little bit different because I use rye flour. It's wonderful and so easy to make and I'm excited to share it with you. So let's get started. In a big kitchen bowl using a whisk, add the two flours, stir in the salt and the yeast and then add the caraway seeds. Then start to pour in the water little by little and using kitchen gloves you will finalize the mix by hand. It isn't kneading, it's still mixing. It just gets very sticky. Once you have mixed in all the flour and you have enough water to be able to handle it, you want to cover it with the plastic film and just put two little holes in so that it can breathe and leave it overnight or 12 to 14 hours to rest. After the rest period you will see little holes throughout. That's a good sign. Then put on some gloves and get that sticky mess out of the bowl and onto an oiled kitchen cutting board. Then you're going to divide the lump into two parts and each part goes into a pre-oiled smaller bowl and then you can top it with either caraway seeds or in this case I like the sesame seeds whichever you prefer. After one hour rest take out the pots from the preheated oven 485 degrees and put each portion of the dough inside the hot pots with the covers on. Then bake for 30 minutes, after which you will take off the covers and have it bake for 5 to 9 minutes longer depending on how brown you wish to have your bread. The baking is finished. Take out the pots. Look at that. Beautiful. Remove the bread from the hot pots and let them sit for one hour. Don't let anyone cut into them before that. They really need to rest as they continue to cook. Bon appétit!